Good morning and welcome again to the Beyond the Pond, the Pond Bible Study. Uh, today's is, uh, today is Friday, June the 7th, and our scripture reading is Nehemiah chapters 4, 5, and 6. So let's pray together. Our God and King, we love you. Thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for the beauty of the morning. Thank you for the blessing of being able to open up your word and study it. And Father, to um, join together with brothers and sisters in Christ in this uh, wonderful time of, of studying your word. Teach us today in, in your name. Amen. Okay, so uh, in chapter 4, Sanballat and Tobiah opposed the Jews, mocking them and their work. Nehemiah prays, asking God to look on them and judge their actions. The wall was built up to half its height, and the opposition threatened to attack them and stop the work. Nehemiah prayed and posted a guard uh, to watch for the enemy. He also had armed men stationed in the areas most vulnerable to attack, then encouraged the people. The laborers worked with one hand and held a weapon with the other. In chapter 5, the workers building the walls and gates were sacrificing their time and talent to do the work. This caused some to speak out concerning their welfare. Nehemiah investigated and found that the nobles and officials were charging interest and abusing the system for their own gain. He, he confronted them in this, uh, this mistreatment and demanded that they do the right thing. He also summoned a priest and made everyone take an oath to do to, to release those debts and to return the land to the people. Nehemiah shook the folds of his robe and said, May God likewise shake his from his house and property everyone who doesn't keep this promise. May he be shaken out and have nothing. Chapter 6. The leaders of the opposition tried to meet with Nehemiah five times, trying to intimidate him and the, and, and the Jews, but Nehemiah squelched the false rumors that they had started about him and the work. Tobiah and Sanballat hired Shemaiah to discredit him, but Nehemiah realized what was going on, and he asked God to remember those who were acting evilish. The wall was completed in 52 days. When all our enemies heard this, all the surrounding nations were intimidated and lost their confidence, for they realized that this task had been accomplished by our God. Now, isn't it wonderful when God gets the glory for His work? Okay, so here we go with our thought for today. Prayerless Christians weaken their effectiveness. Christ is betrayed by Nehemiah and other Jews who had bought back or redeemed some Jews who had been sold to the heathen as slaves while in Persia. We, which he hath purchased with his own blood, were redeemed when we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. I hope you have a wonderful day.